Geylang was in the spotlight this week after Police Commissioner Ng Ju Hee said it was an area that law enforcers worry more about than Little India. He said this while testifying at the Committee of Inquiry hearing into the Little India riot. Little India is where Singapore's first riot in over four decades broke out. Even so, it poses less of a worry for the police than Geylang, which is also known for its red light district. Earlier this week, Police Commissioner Ng Ju Hee pointed to a hint of lawlessness within its streets, calling it a potential powder keg. The crime rate in both Little India and Geylang has dropped steadily over the years. But Geylang's numbers remain high, with the crimes committed there including robbery, outrage of modesty and murder. Public order offences like rioting are also higher in Geylang compared to other areas. The police commissioner said that police officers are met with hostility and antagonism when they are in the Geylang area. And he cited some examples of how the men in blue face difficulties when carrying out their duties. For example, an officer was beaten up while trying to detain a gambling stall operator, while in another instance, a police car was vandalised. Commissioner Ng also pointed out that nowhere else in Singapore is policed more intensely as the lanes of Geylang Road. Like Little India, Geylang is frequented by many foreign workers. Street walkers are a common sight. But the area is also known for other vices, like illegal gambling, as well as the peddling of contraband cigarettes and drugs. Others aren't troubled by what goes on. We actually walk down at night, like middle of the night, like 11 o'clock, uh, and we don't really get bothered by the activities around here. One of the good things about this place is uh, the convenience, the access to the city. Efforts have been made to reduce any inconveniences faced by residents. A member of parliament for the area has successfully pushed for dark alleys to be better lit. It's usually talking about containment and uh, reducing and controlling the disamenities that come with the vice trade. Uh, however, in the long run, my picture and my wish is that you know we can actually perhaps bring it indoors, make it more formalised, more hygienic, more organised as a trade in the area. Professor Fatima has filed a question for next month's parliament sitting, seeking an update on how the situation in Geylang will be handled.